Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Queen Elizabeth wrote a letter to the people of Sydney over 30 years ago, but the note has lain hidden in a vault for 36 years, with the contents only to be revealed in 2085 by order of the Queen herself. A handwritten letter, penned by Queen Elizabeth Yu, lies in a hidden vault in one of Australia's historic buildings. The Queen Victoria Building, QVB, in Sydney homes the note, which was written to mark the restoration of the former marketplace, now a five-level shopping center. Since Her Majesty wrote the letter in November 1986, it has sat inside a glass case, inside a restricted area in its dome. Its content has been kept secret, with not even the monarch's personal staff being privy to what the mysterious letter contains. All that can be seen are the Queen's instructions about when it should be opened. Greetings. On a suitable day to be selected by you in the year 2085 aid, would you please open this envelope and convey to the citizens of Saidi and Yi my message to them. The instructions read. The letter is addressed to the right and honorable Lord Mayor of Sydney, Australia, and signed by the Queen. The QVB building was opened in 1898 and named in honor of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, which was celebrated the year earlier to mark the monarch's 60th anniversary of her accession. At present day, the British monarch remains Australia's head of state, with King Charles I.E. inheriting the role following the death of his mother. Queen Elizabeth developed a very personal relationship with Australia during her 70-year reign. The monarch made regular visits to the country, which saw her travel throughout the different states to meet people from all cultures, walks of life, and regions. Her Majesty visited the country 16 times, with her first visit in 1954, just two years after she ascended the throne. As a constitutional monarch, the Queen was not involved in the day-to-day -day business of the Australian government, but played important ceremonial and symbolic roles, as her son will continue as King. However, the passing of the Queen and the accession of the King draw attention to the Republican sentiment that continues to bubble under the surface in Australia. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about Royal Family. Thank you.